hey friends welcome back to the channel i hope each and every one of you guys are doing well today listen um i think i'm gonna title this message your enemies fear you something of the sort right you need to understand that your enemies they fear you and they don't fear you because um you're scary or anything like that um they fear you because of the god that you serve let me prove it to you in joshua 8 in Joshua 1 verse 8, it says, Before the spies lay down for the night, she went up on the roof and said to them, By the way, um, she represents uh, Rahab, okay? Um, this is about the, the spies that Joshua sent out to go um, search out the land, right? The promised land. And... Um, and Rahab, she was she helped the spies. But before they laid down for the night, she went up to them and she was like, uh, listen, let me tell you something. She said, I know that the Lord has given this land to you and that a great fear of you has fallen on us so that all who live in this country are melting in fear because of you. We have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you. Uh, um, when you came out of Egypt and what you did in um, Shion and Og, the two kings of the Amorites east of the Jordan whom you completely destroyed. Okay. When we heard it, our hearts melted and everyone's courage failed because of you. For the Lord your God is, is God in heaven above and on the earth below. Okay, you need to understand that these people didn't fear God because they saw his hands. They weren't there. They heard. <laughs> they heard through the grapevine. They weren't even there. And they were melting in fear because of a rumor. That was true. It was a true rumor. Okay, you need to understand that your enemies, they fear you, not because some some people are probably like looking at you and be like where are their where is their god gods now and others many others are looking at you in fear why because of your potential they fear what it is that you can do they fear that because they've seen the hand of god in your life they've seen what he has done before in your life friend they've seen god's hand in your life they saw back in 20 2016 what when he did that they saw when he cured that for you they saw when they made he made a way for you they saw when doors opened up they saw they saw that when um at the end of the day things worked out for you they saw they keep seeing god's hands in your life friend and that's why they're fearful your enemies they fear you because of who you serve and they've witnessed, some people have witnessed and some, some things are rumored, okay? They saw how God made a way for you back in 1988 and 2004. And they saw how you, you, you had this illness and you got healed from that. And they saw how you just made a quick recovery from that. They saw the financial blessing that came in your way, uh, came your way in 2004 and, and 20, whenever. Okay, they've seen people are watching, people have been watching you, especially people who are in your life. So a lot of times people are not doubting. I gave a message about you need to stop doubting God because your enemies are not doubting God. Your enemies actually believe the things that God can do in your life. So you, friend, is the one that needs to stop doubting, but you best believe they're fearful. They're fearful of what it is that you can possibly do on this planet simply because of the God you serve. So the whole land of Canaan was fearful of Joshua. Oh, and that's another thing. Thank you, Lord. When God tells you to take over anywhere, you best believe that he goes before you. He goes before you. See, God knew that the Israelites had an advantage. Why? The Canaanites were, what, what did they, melted. <laughs> That's the word. They were melting in fear. Do you know what fear does to anybody? It causes you to, 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 to kind of back down a little bit. It causes you to retreat a little bit. Okay, they're like, oh shoot, you know, mm, 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 mm. I'm not messing, mm, mm. I'm not messing with them. <laughs> I'm not messing with this one right here. This one, that one, I am messing with you. I am, mm, mm, mm. There's some people who have tried you before. Some people who had kind of 
kind of worked their hands at you before and things didn't work out for you i'm telling work out for them i'm telling you god will send every sickness known to man anybody who treats you unfairly anyone who fumbles you it doesn't matter forgiveness or not forgiveness you can forgive somebody but then ven- god says vengeance is mine he always he's always going to come to your rescue okay i'm telling you people can't put their hands on you unfairly okay discipline is discipline discipline is different but if people try to intentionally hurt you they're going to feel it they always feel it things will happen to them okay but you best believe that your enemies know the god you serve and they're fearful some of them are some of them all right yeah but yeah people are scared of your potential friend they're scared of what you could possibly do on this planet they're scared they're scared of you they've seen too much they've heard too much they've seen god's hands work a little bit too much in your life and that's what breeds the fear so that's why when God tells you to take over anything, when God tells you to go forth and do this, and God tells you to go forth and start this and start making this and start planning this and start buying this or whatever the case is, you best believe he had sought out the land. You best believe he had sent the spies ahead of you to seek out the land and then come back with report. God don't send you out just be like um he don't know what's going on over there and he just sends you out no before he tells you to do anything he makes sure he seeks out what is there like for for example god is not going to tell you to move to california or wherever and he don't know how it's going to work out for you in california and then next thing you know you move to california he's like oh Oh my gosh okay okay so you need a job okay and you need a car no no before God tells you to do anything friend he had already gone before you he had already made a way before you so by the time he tells you to go a path is made a way is made a door is open you your one job is to just walk it's just to go through the path okay God knew that the Canaanites would be filled with fear, which gave the Israelites an advantage. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. The wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. Okay, so another message is coming to me and I'm like, ah, okay. And to me, I'm like, okay, the Canaanites, yeah, was they were terrible because the only people who got saved on this land was Rahab and her entire family. And nobody else, nobody else thought, hmm, maybe I should repent because based on these rumors, which was true about what God can do and what God did do, I, I, listen, man, I would repent. I would just be like, listen, man, I don't even know you. I don't know, I don't know this God, but I, I... <laughs> I'm giving my life to you. And Rahab, she was the only wise one. The prostitute. I'm telling you, don't put your mouth on people. Don't look down on people. Do not look down on people. The prostitute was the only one who was like smart enough, who was wise enough to be like, um, yeah, so you're coming to destroy the whole place and you're going to kill everybody? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, can you save me and my family? I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. And can you save me and my family? in return and that's what happened and that is why she and her entire family was saved but everybody else on that land was destroyed okay so anyways i'm gonna end this message here but you best believe your enemies are scared okay they're scared of your potential they're scared of what it is that you could possibly do because they've seen the hands of god work in your life They've seen your accomplishments. They've seen God done it before. And if God has done it before in your life, he can do it again. If he's done it before 
And that's what that's what we all have. We all are holding on to. God, you did it before. <laughs> you made a way before. You opened up a door before. He can do it again. And that is what they are scared of, that God might do it again, that he might do something else again. And he will, but he will though, but he will. And nobody can stop his hands. When God is ready to move in your life, friend, no one, no one, no one will be able to stop the hands of God. All right, receive this in the name of Jesus. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for liking this video. Take care.